A lot of this stuff is actually really lightweight. Anything worth building is worth the work. And we're gonna just put those same Clecos back in. Yeah. Even if you don't get to keep it. This is a Zenith 750 Cruiser. We have affectionately titled it the Spirit of Lakeland. These high school students from the Central Florida Aerospace Academy have a lot of work ahead of them. Well, whenever you look at everything, it can be overwhelming, but you kind of got to look at it like eating an elephant. The only way to do it is one bite at a time. And if you better really like elephants. At first glance, it looks like a lot to chew, but these students are hungry for results, especially considering whose souls get fed by this plane. Able Flight aims to make, allow that person who got, who is, has a disability or is unable to fly anymore, able to fly again. It's a feeling that's indescribable. A national program called Able Flight gets disabled pilots in the sky. I got into a car accident. I was hit by a drunk driver. Pilots like Scott Early. It's like you wear your heart on your sleeve. I wear my wings on my collar. Travis, they touch and go. Disabled pilots typically need modified planes. This makes me incredibly excited about what we're building. And willing we wingmen. And we'll have a second stick here uh, so that uh, so that folks that don't have use of their legs can use the second stick. Ed Young has been instructing the kids. They've been doing the legwork. Our goal is to is to change lives with this. If we can do it, almost anybody can do it. I'm very excited. Excited to see their project get off the ground. When you can get someone like that in the plane and you see their face, it it brings something to your heart. We hope to have it completed by August. So every student who helps build the plane will get to sign his or her autograph on top of it. And they wanted to unveil, unveil this at the Sun and Fun event that's happening in 2020. Very, very cool. Talented kids.